This is aerogel, one of the lightest solids on Earth. It beat my blowtorch, liquid nitrogen, and even a flamethrower. But can it make the ocean drinkable? Desalination by evaporation seems simple enough. You just heat up salty water and collect the fresh water. But using sunlight, it's horribly inefficient because water absorbs light deep below the surface. So most of the energy just warms the bulk. Only around 40% actually drives evaporation. So what if you could heat just the surface, the part where water can actually evaporate? Well, that's exactly what a team at the Hong Kong Polytechnic University set out to do, with an aerogel that uses sunlight to turn surface water into steam. So to make it, they 3D print the material and then freeze it. Tiny ice crystals grow inside it, leaving microscopic vertical channels, like bundles of drinking straws. Float the aerogel on water, and those straws create a kind of suction. See, the channels are so narrow that the water is more attracted to the sides than to itself, so the water is continuously drawn up to the surface, forming a thin film. Only this film gets heated. So now almost 90% of the sun's energy goes into evaporation. But there is a problem. Look at this cup of coffee. The steam doesn't rise straight off of it, it kind of lingers. And that's because a thin layer of warm, humid air called the boundary layer forms just above the surface. This blocks dry air from getting in, and that slows evaporation. This is why blowing on your coffee helps to cool it down. You're pushing away that layer. Now imagine the aerogel as a sea of tiny coffee cups packed side by side. Their boundary layers merge, forming a thick vapor blanket. Vapor near the edges can escape, but in the middle, it's all getting trapped. With nowhere to go, it backs up inside the pores, and evaporation slows to a crawl. That's what's limited solar evaporators. The bigger they get, the worse they perform. But what if, instead of just scaling up, you changed the structure entirely? Zoom out, and you'll see this aerogel is not just a dense bed of porous material. Instead, the researchers print a strange-looking spaghetti-like mesh with open gaps hundreds of microns wide. These gaps act like open highways, preventing the boundary layers from merging and giving vapor a clean exit. So this new aerogel evaporator can actually be scaled up. It has the potential to make two kilograms of clean water per meter squared of material per hour. For now, it's still in the lab, but while engineers and scientists push the boundaries of what's possible, Team Water is tackling bringing clean water to people right now. And together, we're raising $40 million to help two million people access clean water by supporting local, lasting infrastructure. So go to teamwater.org now to donate.